I have a collection here to show you, and I just love the way that these are using vintage components inside the sterling setting. So these are a vintage button and some hand-painted porcelain, and you can see this one has the embedded image down inside, and just a really beautiful way to add a vintage look to any piece of jewelry. I also brought some of these. Now these are made in Germany, and they're from the same molds that have been used for years to make costume jewelry. And this one is a new clasp, but look at this tiny little bee. It has a hook on the back that fits into the flower, and that's how you fasten this clasp. These are all new components, but that have a vintage look, and also that really are suitable for working with vintage glass or crystal pearls even. This, you can see, has a cocoa color, so you can bring in some metallics into your work. So I thought I'd start by showing you a bracelet. This is a multi-strand design, and I'm using crystal pearls, and a fun way that you can add a vintage effect is by using some old earrings. So these are actually some um, clip earrings from my grandmother. And the way that you start with the bracelet is a little bit different from how you might be used to starting with a stringing project. So you're going to pick up a crimp bead on the end of beading wire. You always want to use 49 strand beading wire when you're working with bracelets because they can really stand up to the extra wear and tear. So we'll loop through the clasp, just like you would expect, and we'll go ahead and crimp it. And remember, there's a three-step crimping process. So you'll take your crimping tool and use the outer jaws. I'm just going to slide my crimp up a little bit, make it oval inside the jaws, then squeeze inside the jaws, and that gives it a little crease in the center. Then I remove my pliers and turn them and just squeeze gently to fold that crimp bead over. Then, this is a little bit different. We're going to use cutters to cut a short length of rubber tubing. Now this is normally used to cover memory wire. But what you want to do is lay it across the length of the earring that you're going to attach. And that is going to protect the wire where you attach your earring to the clasp. So you cover the ends with rubber tubing. You're just going to slide it over. And you can even put the little wire piece inside or just go ahead and trim this extra piece away. So on this piece, I already have my pieces of rubber tubing and all of my strands are attached. And again, this is going to help protect the wire here and it also keeps these beads from getting hung up on the back of the earring. So many clip earrings have a hinge back that you can just pull away. It's attached right here. So when you pull it with pliers, it's just going to pop off and you can see that I've already removed it from the back. It left a little hole, so I used my chain nose pliers to press it in here. You could also use nylon jaw pliers. Then I'm taking 24 gauge wire, and I threaded it through the earring. Then I'll lay it on top and wrap it around. And here is where you basically want to just cover it at the tubing. Now this piece, of course, doesn't have to be pearls. You could use any type of beads to create a bracelet like this. I chose pearls because I really wanted to incorporate my grandmother's earring into this piece. So on the back, you're wrapping this across. And I like to wrap it around the tubing a couple of times. And then you could even pass it back through across the base of the earring. And when you get to the end, you're going to twist these ends together and then cut and make a little loop and press that in. You always want to press in any sharp ends with the chain nose pliers. So grab your wire, loop it around, and then really use your pliers to press everything down so that it's nice and tight across the back of the bracelet. So when you're finished, you'll loop this piece around. And then when you're finished, you'll have a really nice piece of jewelry that incorporates that vintage earring. So whether you're using a vintage clasp or creating your own, you can create some beautiful vintage designs.